Australia has experienced a continuous increase in the need for skilled professionals, as evidenced by the annual release of the Skilled Occupation List by the Australian Government. The Australia Skilled Occupation List, which was designed to locate and welcome experienced and skilled professionals to Australia, for them to contribute to the development of Australia, is a vital component of the immigration process. It relies on what Australia's job market requires since it will help to fill in the gaps in the market. Candidates may apply for the skilled worker visa if they meet the requirements for their occupation and set of skills as stated in the list. We will discuss the updated skilled occupation list for Australia in this video. Additionally, we will walk you through how skilled occupation list is used for Australia immigration, which will allow you to determine how to increase your Australia visa chances. Australia Short-Term Skilled Occupation List Over 200 occupations are included on Australia's Short-Term Skilled Occupation List, and these careers are in high demand across Australia. The program offers the following visas, Subclass 190 Skilled Nominated Visa, Subclass 186 for Direct Entry Through Employer Nomination Scheme Visa, Subclass 457 Temporary Workers Visa, and Subclass 407 Training Visa. When assessing immigration applications, Australia has a point system based on this list, and occupations with constant demand include engineers, IT specialists, healthcare providers, and educators. Australia's Medium and Long-Term Strategic Skills List The Strategic Skills List is also utilized by Australia's Skilled Immigration Program. Visa Subclass 189 allows you to enter Australia without the need for government or employer sponsorship. This program, formerly known as the Qualified Occupation List, encourages the immigration of qualified individuals across a range of industries. Regional Occupation List for Australia Immigration the skills in this list are specific to regional migration programs and apply to TSS, 489, and other subclasses of visas. Visit the Department of Home Affairs website to find out more about these programs and the rules that accompany them. You can select the general skilled migration occupation that most closely matches your profile from the combined list. Selecting a suitable career is the first step in your immigration to Australia as a skilled independent. Australia Draft Corps Skills Occupations List The temporary skill shortage visa will be replaced by the new Skills in Demand visa which will have three pathways – Specialist Skills, Core Skills, and Essential Skills, according to the Australian Government. Similar to the Skilled Migration Occupation List used for the TSS visa, the Core Skills Occupations List will be one of the requirements for the Skills in Demand visa, with a concentration on the Core Skills pathway. The draft CSOL is based on jobs from ANZSCO skill levels 1 through 3 and is consistent with the 2022 ANZSCO catalog. The list is broken down into three categories, careers that are confidently advised for the CSOL, careers that are advised to be excluded from the CSOL, and careers that are recommended for focused feedback. How Skilled Occupation List is Used in Australian Immigration 1. Visa Eligibility A profession that is listed on the SOL is required of candidates who desire to apply for certain skilled migration visas, such as the Skilled Independent Visa or the Skilled Nominated Visa, which serves as a reference for assessing visa eligibility. 2. Point System Australia's Skilled Migration Program assesses visa applicants using a points-based system. Points are awarded depending on a variety of factors, including work experience, age, education, employment, and English language proficiency. Bonus points are often awarded for jobs that are listed on the SOL, which can improve an applicant's overall score and increase the possibility that they will be asked to submit a visa application. 3. State Nomination When proposing skilled individuals for regional or state-specific visas, several Australian governments and territories, which have their own skilled migration programs, may refer to the SOL. An applicant's chances of receiving a nomination from a certain state or territory may rise if they are on the SOL. 4. Occupation Assessments Assessing authorities use the SOL to ascertain the credentials and abilities needed for particular jobs. In order to prove that they are qualified for the position they have selected, 
applicants frequently need to have the appropriate authorities evaluate their qualifications. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching.